Welcome! In this video I will show you how to create a carousel with Slick library. In the old-fashioned jQuery library, no React, View or Angular. So, how can we do it? First of all, the original official website. You can find it in the description for this video. Also, all the source code you will find as well in the description for this video. The link to GitHub will be available. I would recommend you to use the official documentation to create carousel. As you see, it works pretty great with touch events. So how can we do it? First of all, let's check demo. You can find style you need. The next, usage. Here it looks pretty simple, but in general it's not so obvious how to create this carousel. Ok, I will create empty project, slick, as I said source will be available, and we will create a few files. The first of all it's index.html, then we need styles, CSS, and of course script.js. Okay, let's start from the HTML. We have this template and let's go step by step based on the usage example. First of all, we will copy this HTML sample and let's put it into the body tag. It will be our carousel then we will customize it a bit, but right now it's ok. The next, we need to add the styles. As you see, we have styles from the Sleek library. So, where can we get it? We can download the library or we can... We need to go... get it now, we can download it or we can use with CDN. In my case I will use CDN, but if you need you can download it and check how it works. So we need CSS, let's copy this line and put it into the head. We will have link to CSS slick and the next we need JavaScript. Slick library. Its library itself, we will put it under the body in the bottom of the page. Now, it's important to understand that it works with jQuery, so don't forget to add jQuery. We have two files in jQuery and jQuery migrate. We will add both as well in the end. And the next, the most important part, it's uh, JavaScript with the configuration of your script. In our case it's slick min.js, but we already use it from the CDN. But let's put script type text JavaScript as well and the source will be for our local file and in this script we will configure everything. First of all let's check how it works. We will put alert And we need run the file. I will run it from the ID. So as you see, JavaScript works. HTML works. Okay. The next we have, we need styles and um, we will add it a bit later we need to add the functionality for our component, our library. We need to copy this 
script tag. Let's copy. And um, so, uh, what do you see? We have jQuery. When document is loaded, ready, we select our class. It's your class. Basically, it would be better to change it to sleek to understand what is it. We will change class name here. We execute sleek and now, as you see, we have error because of we need to put some configuration. For the configuration, we have demo and let's go, for example, this infinity and slides to show. Replace this placeholder. Now it works better. And we can refresh the document. Nothing changed. Okay, what do we need to implement? Okay, based on the example, as we see, we need first of all import jQuery and only then sleek. Let's change the import. And now we will check. Let's open inspect and we will see what do we have. In case you have such error, always you can check network. Was it downloaded? We see that jQuery was downloaded, jQuery migrate, so all script should work fine. Sleek should be the last one. This is JavaScript magic. Now we refresh and as you see, jQuery is the first one, then it's jQuery migrate and only that, then we have slick carousel. Okay, we have styled our components, then let's add some configuration to check how it works. Let's change slide to show one, slide to scroll one, refresh and now as you see we have buttons and we have some behavior, we can swipe, it works. So next we need to add some CSS. As well, in the example of usage, you can find that we have sleek CSS. This CSS we already imported, but to have this, this style, we need to add the, the next important file is sleek theme. Okay, where can we find it? As well, you can download it or we can try to check the next path. So, as you see, we have it. Let's copy the path. So, this file wasn't added to the documentation for the CDN, but it's not a problem, we can reuse it by this approach. Okay, let's check settings, what we can add as well. I would like to add the dots to see dots of the carousel. Let's add them. Dots true. Next, refresh the page. And as you see, we already have dots. We don't see any arrows. 
but those are already styled. Okay, so next let's change the content and we will add something more use, useful. Let's add the images. For example, we will use movie posters from the TMDB. Let's use this image for, from the author. I have prepared a couple of images. You can use as much as you need. So we have three posters and now we can check UI. So we have image, it is swipeable, we have dots. Carousel works pretty good. Then we can inspect, check how it works with resizing. Image is scaled as well. Okay, and based on the configuration, we can find um, arrows, they are hidden. Let's add um, arrows true. Refresh. We don't see them. Okay, let's inspect and we will find where are our arrows. Click next. We have these buttons, but they are out of the content, container. Let's change We need to change that index So now we have these arrows. Okay, let's save the styles. We will use styles CSS we created. And now let's copy this rule. That index, let's put two, for example, and uh, for the sl sleek prayer. left 25 pixels and for the sleek next right 25 pixels so you can using this approach you can customize these arrows as much as you need and don't forget that we need to import our styles we will Duplicate the line, it will be link style, rel style sheet, and uh, pass will be styles CSS. And now, as you see, we have these arrows, and uh, it works as we expected. So, basically, using this approach, you can customize your arrows as much as you need. Let's go to the button and uh, we can check change high hey and width
and we need to change font size in case you need to customize the size of the arrow. Okay, let's edit. Let's copy this rule as well. And the font size will be bigger. Refresh the page and we have arrows what we need. So as you see it works pretty good. All the properties you can set, you can always find in the settings section. Also, I want to show you how to use events. For example, we have after change or swipe. Let's add some event just in case you need to implement some analytics or some additional behavior. Based on the description we need to select our class we used to create a carousel add the custom event for example swipe edge or before change and then implement some behavior let's copy it now as you see we have your element but basically it should be carousel class this documentation not perfect now we have our console, we have event and we have some console log behavior. Let's refresh, go to the console and when we swipe, we see that event was called, but it was for the swiping, not for the arrows or dots behavior. But in general, now we understand how it works. So as I mentioned before, all the source code will be available in the description for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this tutorial.